appreciate y'all coming back with another hit with me. Uh, this session, I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more uh, simple. And so uh, you can do some of this stuff without a whole lot of cueing, um, just following along with the drills. Uh, you don't have to you know, know a whole lot or do a whole lot uh, when it comes to uh, cues or how the body works. Um, four simple drills. Uh, we're gonna use some like external stuff like these heavy balls to give me like a contact point. Uh, I may use like an overload bat or a heavy bat, which typically, uh, you know, if you're younger, just using a big boy bat, or if you're older, um, like something I did in college was I'd just tape around the end, um, give it an overload feel, and just put a bunch of tape at the barrel. Um, or there is, you know, overloaded bats uh, out there. And so stuff like that too, um, where really the goal is just to continue to barrel the ball. Uh, really not a whole lot of uh, focus when it comes to the body, uh, just trying to barrel the ball within the constraints that we give. So the first one that we're gonna give, pretty common drill, and um, the focus on all this stuff is gonna be connection. So getting connected early and then staying through it as well. Um, and so getting connected. And so the first drill that we're gonna do is open 45s. And so really the focus here is early connection, is how early can I get in the zone and uh, get that connected, get the barrel connected to my body. Uh, so my body doesn't go without it, without the barrel and then drag the barrel. And so I'm gonna use these two balls, uh, heavy balls to give me a contact point. And I wanna push myself to get as deep as I can here in the zone with my contact point and still drive this ball. So I'm gonna put them back here. It should be like, you know, midline towards the back part of my hip. And then I'm gonna hit a little open 45 here. And just gonna do a few swings like this. So something that you'll tend to see with open 45s is because the hips are already open, it's gonna be really easy for you to wanna yank, pull off with my shoulder and spin off. And so I really wanna feel me getting loaded into my back hip here. Um, you shouldn't feel like everything's leaned into your front side. You should feel like you're in your back hip. And again, trying to catch this really deep, drive it right back to where it came from. Uh, so it'll be a little challenging for some hitters that like to push or spin or yank, um, but it'll be good for some early connection here. Aye. Okay, try to get a little bit deeper on these next few. Push myself. Get a little comebackers today. Try to let that one travel as an inside pitch, so ended up cutting it. Probably should have taken that one, but let me learn. Two more like this, really gonna try to get deep and feel my body in the barrel connected back here, not way out front. We'll get to that extension. Better, one more. A little push with the lower half, spun, got disconnected, but it's all good, we'll move on to the next one. So the next one, we're just gonna go from launch, and it's just gonna be a little split grip. Okay, so same feel, kind of like with a hockey stick. And so what you'll see too, is you typically, when you see people swing a hockey stick, you don't see them drive their knees out like this, especially too, because they're on ice, or you may have seen us do like double farm boards or on the slide boards with a hockey stick. Their middle's what drives, and it turns here, and the, the stick, or the bat in this case is really connected to my body. And so we're gonna go split grip here. And so like a regression that you can do, is you can actually start the hitters down like this and then they swing it back like this. I'm gonna go ahead and start up in a, a regular stance and a regular position, just split grip. And again, I'm trying to catch this a little bit deeper in the zone. As I get up on the bat, I actually shorten this lever. So I am gonna get in and out of the zone a little bit quicker. So again, challenging my connection early in the zone. These will be a little bit harder as I'm trying to get this contact point deep here. Um, one, if 
the toss is low and away because I shorten the lever a little bit, it's gonna be tough, but also with my focus trying to be deeper in the zone right now, anything that's inside, um, it will be a little bit tougher too because I'm really trying to create this angle and this position to enter the zone back here and drive something this deep. And so it's something to be conscious of too is I'm not doing a really good job right now of one, hitting it where it's at because I'm really focused on trying to drive it deep. Uh, because if it is inside, it's okay to hit it uh, if I'm connected to, um, but also try, not trying to pull my barrel through and manipulate a ball that way. Because if it is on the inner third, um, being okay with hitting that to left center typically. But right now I'm really hyper-focused on trying to catch this as deep as possible because I know personally I like to push and my contact point likes to get way out front and I cheat to pitches and then I would get fooled on sliders and I know a lot of hitters struggle with the same thing. So I'm really hyper-focused on that right now. And then again, like I said, we'll get to the next step where, okay, I can start catching it back out front again and stay connected longer. A couple more split grip. Oh, tough one. Tough one. Hub's out here trying to feed me fastballs and I'm ruining it. All right, so next we're gonna go to the overload bat. And so we actually have the big ax bat. It's a 37, I um, believe it's a 37, 37. I'll tell you here in a sec. Yeah, 37 inches, 37 ounces. I'm gonna choke up a little bit because I'm not a huge fan of the, the ax handle. But for this too, it's really gonna expose me and like feed the mistake. So if I wanna yank with the back or get disconnected really early, because it's so heavy, I'm gonna feel this barrel dragging and dumping back behind me. And so again, I gotta get this connected to my body, get this connected to my trunk and let my body and the barrel turn together here. And so this is something else too. It doesn't take a lot of cueing, just try to barrel it up. Uh, I'm going to go from launch to start with this and uh, yeah, just swing this beast. You see that back knee drive? Looking like you. What you got on that? It's, prob it's probably the pitcher's fault, not my fault, but you know, that's typically how it goes. Aye. Don't throw me that again, huh? We have a hard time getting Hub to smile around here. It's okay. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Cool, cool, just a couple more, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my stride in. And this is where, too, I like to add this in with the stride, too, at the heavy bat, because that's typically when I really start to like fall, crash, or push forward, and I lose my lower half, which then leads to me getting disconnected with my upper half, and I kind of leave my hands behind. And so I like this to kind of sync up my upper half with my lower half here and get them connected, kind of dancing together a little bit. So, same thing, just with a stride. Push my hands a little bit and try to keep that open 45 feel. Turn it in around my back hip. It's kind of a cue that I'll give people once in a while. Swing it around the back hip, not around the front hip. So give that cue a little try. That ain't it, cuz. Cool. So last one we're gonna do is just heavy balls. So we're gonna use these plyo balls you've seen, put them here on the ground. And so again, you can use like light med balls, you can use tennis, or not tennis balls, volleyball, soccer balls, basketballs, or if you have the plyo balls, heavy balls, go ahead and use those too. And these again, you don't need a whole lot of cueing. Um, you kinda, you gotta be braced, you gotta be connected with your body if you're body's disconnected from your barrel and I'm out like this too, you're probably gonna clip a lot of balls. Or if I'm way out over my front side, 
and I, you know, I'm swinging around my front hip like that, uh, where I'm lunging, a little disconnected as well. Probably gonna clip them, and then also too, to hit these well, I gotta stay through them. So if I get connected early, but then I wanna come up out of posture, stand up, get disconnected a little bit, I'll start clipping them. So just gonna go, toss those back to him. Just gonna go from launch for a few with heavy balls. So pulling my hands through, I really gotta feel this, this like top hand with my body feel. It'll be a good one, good feel for me. There we go, a little bit better. Good old school cue, top hand strong. What you know about that hub? A little top hand strong cue. Nothing, huh? Good, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a stride here. Typically, this is where I like to crash into my front side, come up out of posture, push, lunge, you know, all sorts of things that I like to do. And so again, these are gonna be really challenging now adding in a stride here with the heavy balls. Things, things will tire you out, huh? I gotta get me a barrel on me. No, oh. That's a perfect example of what's spinning out and getting disconnected from the barrel looks like. Got stuck on my backside, spun out. Our barrel's back here, trunk's out here, and then last second, barrel whips across. Not very connected, not very strong. Definitely not my best punch. So again, I'm gonna try to feel that top hand strong feel connected with my trunk, my body, my upper body, my torso. I'm gonna give this another ride a couple times. Udamas. I'm gonna be that guy, one more. That's okay. Oh, cool. So, like I said, quick little session, um, nothing too crazy. Again, like you should have some type of heavy ball that you can hit, uh, maybe a heavier bat, like an old bat, old wood bat, something along those lines. Again, open 45, split grip, those are all things that um, should be pretty easy to do and don't take a whole lot of cueing. Really, my main focus was I was trying to hit these balls over the infill's head with the regular balls and then the heavy balls, I'm just, I'm just trying to back net them. And again, too, you gotta get connected early, you gotta stay connected, embrace it, impact. And if the barrel and my body aren't connected, those things are gonna hit me back or I'm gonna start spinning balls and flaring balls off or snap hooking them a little bit. And so, um, again, pretty easy routine to follow along with, not a whole lot of cueing. Um, but like I said, every other time, if y'all want anything in particular, go ahead and drop it, let us know, email us, DM us, something like that. And then uh, we'd love to go through a routine to help y'all fix that. So until next time.